Hello, it's Sharla from the Thunder Bay Chamber of Commerce with another update about some new program supports that have been recently announced. This video outlines information about the new Ontario Action Plan and uh, some of the key things that businesses need to know. So on Wednesday, March the 25th, Ontario government announced these changes. Uh, and um, many, many things that, uh, that will help to support business, but also support the community, as well as some, uh, some significant investments in healthcare, which are very important to us at this time. So quickly, the, uh, the business supports include allowing employers to defer payments of the WSIB for up to six months. So no need to submit your WSIB payments at the end of March uh, and moving forward for six months, which is great news. They've also increased the employer health tax exemption to a million dollars. So that means that more than 90% of private sector employers won't be paying any employer health tax in 2020. So again, another great saving for small business. They've also uh, provided a five month interest and penalty free period for businesses to make payments for the majority of their provincially administered taxes. So if you've got any taxes owing to the government provincially, including tobacco tax or gas tax, those are uh, those payments are deferred now for five months to help with uh, with your own business costs. And uh, one other thing is they're setting up a corporate income tax credit through the Regional Opportunities Investment Tax Credit for areas like those in, uh, in Northwest who have had challenging employment growth for a while. So they're recognizing that here in the North, we've had some challenges prior to the COVID-19 uh, situation and uh, they're providing some new supports for those that, uh, that are able to make investments at this time to try to drive some economic activity. They also uh, pr provided more information on electricity cost relief for small businesses, farms and residential consumers. We know there was an announcement of a change to time of use pricing earlier this week and they, uh, they've also put some additional funds into the budget to assist with, uh, with those cost savings. And for families who are challenged by the closures of daycares and schools, they're providing supports of up to $200 per child to help with those costs. So hope this is helpful. Full information is available on our resource page at tvchamber.ca. And always, as always, reach out at any time and uh, we're happy to, uh, to help to answer any of your questions and uh, stay well and we will talk to you soon. Take care.